It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we've got ourselves a Super Bowl 20 rematch. It's the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots on Monday Night Primetime. Just a beautiful fall night for football here in the Northeast as we are inside Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Tonight, we've got the crew set for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Chicago Bears and the New England Patriots. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. send the kicking team out there and they will send this one away and we will not see a run back on the opening kickoff this will be a touchback now we get a first look at this Patriots offense and of course leading them for his second season last year's rookie of the year runner-up out of Alabama Mac Jones I think we'll all remember 2021 as a banner quarterback draft and we saw five taken in the first round it was actually the fifth of those five, Mac Jones, who was the runner-up in the Rookie of the Year voting with the fifth most yards by a rookie in league history. The Patriots, they have to be dancing in the streets with the idea that this guy is going to be their quarterback for about the next 10 years. Jones looking to throw it on the first play. The connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave him with a second and just a few inches left. They run with a fourth-year man. This is Damian Harris. Room here to run. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That one's good for 35 yards on the ground and a first down. And that one heck of a run right there. Once he got loose, you could tell that he was going to run a long way. That was pretty impressive. And first and foremost, this is all about vision. He can see the play developing right in front of him. And once he's passed the line of scrimmage and got a full head of steam behind him, he's just going to keep right on going. And if you're wondering how fast he was going, Next Gen Stats clocked him at close to 21 miles an hour. They'll run again with Harris. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. Credit the tackle for loss to Robert Quinn. A tale of two extremes. First carry, he went for a bundle. His second goes backward. And how many times have we seen that happen? Because you get that big carry, and you come back, and you're all fired up, and sometimes you force a run a little bit, right? Trying to break off that big carry again, and instead, it works opposite. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Now Jones. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 18. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. 
Hunter Henry's now in his second season with the New England Patriots and had nine touchdowns in his first campaign and really emerged rookie quarterback Mac Jones' favorite target, especially when they needed points in the red zone. Stays his favorite here and picks up a first down. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That is caught inside the five. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. Points one, two, and three in their defensive game plan was to get to the quarterback and knock the ball free. They did it there, luckily offense hangs on to it. Yeah, that's got to serve as a wake-up call, though, because they can't afford to let the ball go over to the defense and miss opportunities. And I'm not saying it happened here, but you know what a good rule of thumb is when a play like that occurs? You know who usually recovers it? The guy who missed his block and let his quarterback get hit. Very fortunate to get another shot. Here's second and goal. Looking to throw, Jones. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. Can this defense get the stop on the opening drive? Here's third and goal. Operating from the gun, Jones. He rifles one that's intercepted. And the Bears are gonna get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. The Chicago's offense running out and something they hope to see for years and years to come. Second year pro Justin Fields leading the way. Justin Fields endured some literal growing pains his rookie season, taking hits and being forced to run for it behind a porous offensive line. But he also had moments where he showed his upside as a franchise quarterback. He did win two of his first three starts and had a 100-yard rushing game against San Francisco in Week 8. Several off-season changes in Chicago should help get Fields some help in Year 2. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. They'll start on the ground with Montgomery. Devon Godshow up to make the tackle. Now that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired up the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Back to throw, Fields. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Well, they go with a slant that time, 15 yards at a first down. As a passer, you're always trying to find that open window to throw the ball downfield. How about this one? Right in the middle of the field, right in the heart of a defense. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Fields. 
He'll get that complete to his tight end, Cole Komet. Finding room at midfield. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run. Because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball, how much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Going up the gut, Montgomery. And he's got Rome. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Chicago. And that's CD, one heck of a run. He just refused to go down. And that's where determination comes in because he had at least a couple of guys had really good shots at him, but he just said, I don't think so. Speed, power, elusiveness, all on display right there. Look like you, partner, back in your salad days in Evansville. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. And he's got it to make it 7-0 in favor of the Bears. So that drive, four plays. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. The Bears send the kicking team out there, and they will send this one away. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. Oh, a good look in Ritz. Jones hit, and the ball's out. And this is picked up by the Bears. Well, it was looking like they were going to have the ball in good field position, but now with that fumble, they don't have the football at all. Yeah, it's pretty easy to imagine what he was thinking there, though, right? I can take this one, break it, go for a big one right here. But you and I both know, always protect the football is the number one mantra for a kick returner. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Off the option, here's Montgomery. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Tackle made by Adrian Phillips. Hey, it's not the most spectacular play, but I think most teams will take that every single time for the first play of the drive. Begin the series with positive yardage and set yourself up for a very manageable second down. Second and five now. Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to bring up third and two. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two. Fields. He'll leave it for Montgomery complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they go to work on a first and goal. The field's going to take this himself. And a nice move will yield nothing as he stopped behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it will be second down. Not a lot of success to be found there. Oh, you got that right, partner, because if you're trying to make guys miss about 10 yards or so downfield, that's a pretty good play. But if you've got to do it in your own backfield, 
I consider that a problem. That doesn't work too well. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. But a spotlight hit him once already tonight as he got into the end zone. He was trying to make it a double spotlight, wasn't he? But credit the defense, bottling him up, not letting him get in for the second score there. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now Fields. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Patriots are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. And the defense, Charles, they bit a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal there, the huge interception. I think of the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them out of the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. with a second-year man. That's Ramondre Stevenson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On the give, this is Harris. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. No daylight for him to run through there, and he ran into the defensive tackle, and that guy blocks a whole lot of daylight as it is. He is truly a big man who just made a big play. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Now Jones on third down. He'll go underneath here to Stevenson. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to bring up the fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. This is where you step up. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bears take over. The Chicago offense set to get started. In a close game like this, Charles, those interceptions like they had on the last drive could be costly, but here they've got another opportunity to seize control of this game. And they'd better take advantage of it because otherwise, if they end up losing by one score, they'll relive this over and over and over until they have another opportunity to wipe it away. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 26. He'll begin by dropping it off to Montgomery. Dancing away at the 30. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 74 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. 
Here's Fields. Open man is Komet, the tight end. And they're going to get this up to midfield. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. He's hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, there's the option going left. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A big-time gain there on the keeper, using his legs to hurt him. First down. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh, my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Right. On first down, Fields. This pass on target, Valus Jones with it. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. The ball resting on the 20. Here's second and six. Fields now to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Call it a loss of five. A big sack to bring up third down. We've seen how this quarterback can beat you with his legs. Saw it earlier on his drive, as a matter of fact. But that time, they had him covered. They really gave him no place to escape because oftentimes they're able to find a crack, a sliver, anything that can get them upfield. On that occasion, nothing opened at all, and they swarmed him. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Here's Fields. They'll set up the screen to Herbert. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Second down and three, ball on the seven. To throw his fields. And they're going to get him. They bring him down to the sack back at the 16-yard line. Matt Judon from his outside linebacker spot, forcing the sack for a loss of eight. All about the offense so far in this drive, putting something sustained together. But the defense, they responded on that play. Second and manageable became third and long. The drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling out. So now following the sack, Fields and the Bears looking at third down and long. Eluding the pressure right. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds right around the 7. Give him 8 yards that time on the scramble and now 4th down. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on 2nd down, 
Talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. Santos' kick is up and through, and that will extend their lead even further. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. All that remains is to snap this once, and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Chicago. And despite the big lead, they really did next to nothing throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage. We'll see how aggressive they want to be going forward. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set to resume. Here we go with the second half. The Bears holding the lead and ready to receive the kick. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Bears offense set to go to begin the third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in the second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be licensed to take some shots downfield. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10 at their own 26. Third quarter starting with a run from Montgomery. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. Nice run defense presented there, and what I mean by that is discipline. Guys filling the right gaps in the right holes, no one over pursuing, and making a very nice play. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, Fields. And yeah, this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw got him a little too far. It brings up third down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. That's complete to Mooney. 
Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it. Brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here comes the Bears punter now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Patriots take over. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. That time on the outside, pretty nice job as a cornerback to shed any would-be blockers and make the tackle. And think about the praise we're giving him, what his coaches are giving him, but how about the respect he gets from his teammates to be a complete corner who doesn't just cover receivers, but also tackles ball carriers. Jones throw complete there to Smith. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Back to throw. Jones. He finds Aguilar over the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. Couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and 10 up at the 46. Back to throw again. It gets it into the arms of Parker, complete. And they'll get this down to around the 47 yard line. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. Throwing again on second down. Jones. And his throw is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Again, he'll drop to throw. That swung out wide to Harris. Now they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Now we're going to get a stoppage. Appears to be an injured bear on the field. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. A 
Patriots send out their punter as he's on here to punt it away. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And this one goes angling out of bounds, and it will be spotted inside the 30-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. On first and 10, here's Fields escaping the pressure right. After all that, they only wind up with a yard. It's second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Looking to throw again on second down. Fields. Jones has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one, a gain of 20 in a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. On first down, it's Fields. A uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Uh, the quarterback got away with one there. Looked like he was in line for a pick, but instead, it's knocked harmlessly to the turf. Third quarter on a Monday night with a second and ten coming up. Now it's Fields. Now that'll be caught by St. Brown. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. A good chance this is four down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. Fields. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Always important as a defender on third down to keep the play in front of you and make sure you don't give up enough space that they can make a move on you in the open field. Try as he might, he wasn't able to get to the first down marker. Excellent defense, good tackle. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice and ambitious effort, but it's well short. And the lead will hold at 10. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now, the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. And they won't be able to run another play. Time has expired on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now Jones. Have thrown to Parker complete on the slant. And he'll be marked down right at the 15-yard line. 
Even though this offense doesn't have a single point to its name, they're not totally out of this game yet. A touchdown here, they could be in business. And how about that last play? Now they've got momentum going, so you know I'm a big advocate. Get back on the line of scrimmage. Throw another play out of while you've got them rocked on their heels. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a give running left is Harris. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 60 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Throwing Jones. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time they face a third and two. Parker's got it for a Patriots touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the Patriots have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Well executed there offensively. Defense looked a little confused, but he found his receiver, and that one good for six points. And the payoff we just saw there tells us how many times they ran this play in practice over the past few weeks because they executed that flawlessly right here on game day when the situation arose. Fulk connects on the extra point, and now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Five plays there on that drive, and Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. to boot it after his guys put six on the board. Fields it right around the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Chicago offense set to get started. They've been asleep for a little while on this side of the football, Charles, and the score is just a one-score game now. Haven't had any points this half. What gives? Let's go old school here. All right, let's get back to the basics. Get back to running the football. High percentage throws. Find the guys that eat pressure and make plays for you and make sure they touch it. Fields and the Bears now with a first and 10. Just shy of the 30. Back to throw, Fields, flush to his right. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That'll go for a gain of seven, and it'll be second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you gotta get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. Right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. Oh, Montgomery just unable to twist free as they hit him short of the line to gain. Nothing doing on that one, and it'll be fourth down. You know, we might start getting some props here in the booth. You know that one that says the D and then the fence that you put up next to it? How about that? They brought out the jumbo package and still couldn't move them off the line of scrimmage enough to pick up that first down. Impressive. They were ready defensively for that jumbo set.
Here comes the Bears punter now as he's on to kick it away. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. It's a 40-yard punt, four yards on the return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. New England's offense set to go. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 21. Throwing to start the drive. Jones, open man right side, Myers. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. To throw again on second down. Jones, it's complete to Parker, left side. And yeah, they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Jones throwing on first down. He'll find Parker again, complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough and run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man is Jacoby Myers. He's got it. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. First down now, but that clock rolling. To throw is Jones. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Big third down, a field goal from this spot, 57 yards as they hope to move it a little closer. Here's Jones. And he'll just get rid of it. Partner, they've got one chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think along with their offensive coordinator now, has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. And this kick is not gonna get there. It's short and no good. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. 
A fourth quarter miss like that, there is no lonelier feeling than that kicker right now. As we all know, a lot of these games, they come down to special teams. And when that chance comes, you have to perform in order to help your team get over the top. Could have tied it. Instead, they remain down three. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he's got some space here. And he's got this down to the 35. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with just over a minute to go in the game. The win for the Bears just around the corner. They go down to a knee. And the defense, they'll spread the field a dime package here on third and 12. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Honored by you, partner, but watching them take the knee there and finish this one off, I feel like I'm going to be sore tomorrow. This was one bruising affair. Low scoring, but my kind of football. Not a work of art, but maybe in your world, a little bit of a work of art. You I, like the defensive side. I thought it was pretty. I can't help myself. <laughs> I thought it was pretty. And it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeroes. Well, obviously, Charles, this was by no means an offensive track meet. I mean, the defenses were the story in this ball game, but hey, they got enough points to get the job done, and at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're absolutely right about that, partner. In such a low-scoring game, it completely changes everything you had planned to do out there. Fortunately for them, they got just enough scoring to bring home the win, and in this type of a game, the play of their defense, that became one of their biggest keys. 